Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I'm Chase. I'm a full-time Amazon and eBay reseller, but sometimes I mix in Facebook Marketplace and that's what we're going to go for this week. So I want to try to sell as much as possible and hopefully do some trades on Facebook. It's Tuesday right now and we're going to take Tuesday through at least Thursday, see what we can make happen, and we'll bring you guys with us. So let's do it. So my first Facebook sale is through, and it's actually to a repeat customer. This will be the fourth time I meet up with him for sports cards. And this is bulk stuff. Got $20 into them um, from my local storage unit shop. And I'm surprised to be able to get 100 for them. Uh, threw in a pretty nice shack lot that you guys may have seen from the pawn shop. So I guess we got more like 25 bucks into them. But... Yeah, pretty excited to get rid of those in one go. And then I'm also working on a second lot that I will be listing here in a second. Right here. So basically I just kind of quickly go through all the cards, pull any of the Michael Jordans, any of that kind of good stuff, and then put the rest on Facebook. There's still Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, tons of Hall of Famer superstars mixed in, and it makes it easier to sell that way. And I'll just get rid of that in bulk. So I'll list that, we'll see if we can sell that, and then probably put up some trade posts for switches, which I haven't done in a long time, and we'll see how it goes. So Barnes & Noble has become my favorite place to meet, because I get to go in and just see if they have any baseball cards or anything in stock right after I meet. So there's my guy, let's go sell some cards. Well, I just lost 50 pounds and gained $100. Stoked to get those cards out of here and gonna go back home and try to get more listed and sold. Let's do it. So I've gotten a few bites on the second card lot that I listed. None of them have gone through, but I'm hoping they will for like 155 bucks. And then just listed this Lego lot on Facebook. Some of you may remember I paid $35 for all of them. Felt pretty good about that, but they're definitely dirty and just kind of gross. So I'm just lotting them all together trying to get, I listed them for 250 but I'll probably take some offers. There are some minifigures. There's some partially built vehicles and sets and things. So I think they won't have any problem selling even though they're dirty. I mentioned that they're in rough condition, smell musty, and <laughs> we'll need some deep cleaning. I don't want to do any of that. So hopefully I can find a buyer that will do that. What do you think about that, Brother Dave? I like it. I <laughs> Let's just get it out of here. Yes. Move it quick. Yeah, this would be a nightmare to like try to clean all this stuff and maximize profits. Yeah. Um, I'll let somebody else do that. So hopefully there's enough meat on the bone for somebody else at 250 bucks, and I'll get a happy buyer. Well, I sold the batch of Facebook sports cards from my porch. Just had them put the money in a Tupperware, $155. Got full asking price. Pretty stoked to get those out of here. Hopefully I can get some bites on that Lego lot. And I just posted the Switch Trade post today. A few messages, but nothing too great yet. I'll certainly keep you guys posted tomorrow. Hey guys, so I was finally able to get a Switch Trade sealed up. It is for this Animal Crossing Edition Switch. They're coming straight to me, and I'm pretty excited for the trade that is happening. And I will show you guys exactly what gets traded for that. It's straight up. So I'll show you guys what they bring me here in a second. So the trade is completed. Just dropped everything off. So here it is, Animal Crossing Switch for all this stuff. I'm pretty happy with it. Everything appears to be super clean. It started out with the 3DS bundle plus the Game Boy bundle and I need a little bit more to make it worthwhile. Um, so got the Xbox controller plus the Beats thrown in so that made it worthwhile to me puts the value right around six hundred dollars which the goal is to double up the reason the value is so high is because systems new 3ds xls in particular are super spiked i'll probably be able to get close to three hundred dollars for that on amazon and you can almost get that on ebay for the new 3ds xl as long as it's in very good condition which this is so that's insane almost all the money back just on the system 
And then nice games, Pokemon Moon, Batman, Zelda Spirit Tracks, Zelda Link Between Worlds, and Majora's Mask 3D. And then seven more 3DS games, including Mario Kart, Mario Maker, Monster Hunter, Ocarina of Time, Another Moon, Ultra Moon, and A Link Between Worlds. And yes, those are all in the cases. There's a couple doubles. Then a Game Boy Advance was the next part with Lego Star Wars, Spyro, Tony Hawk, Crash, Pokemon Silver, a nice one, and Tetris. And then as mentioned, the controller and the beats. So all that for an Animal Crossing Switch. Let me know if you would have done this trade. Sometimes people question why I did the trade. In this case, I think this one is pretty solid. Everything's super clean. Feels like a pretty safe double up. Um, but yeah, would you guys have done it? Let me know in the comments down below. All right guys, so traded away that big NES Lego set and I'm excited to unbox what I traded for. So shout out to Rob. I've done a few transactions with him in the past and he just was like, I want that thing. Uh, let's make a trade happen. So he messaged on Facebook and yeah, so maybe David can show a picture of the Lego set that I'm talking about because we posted it on Instagram and that's how he saw it. We were just kind of like saying, look, look at this thing, this is epic. And he agreed. <laughs> so, should be some video games. Looks like he threw in this awesome sticker. Nice little touch. All right, so let's dig into it. First off, Nintendo 2DS. That definitely helps. And Rob was cool with knowing that I like to be at about 50% in trade, trading, so I like to double up on whatever the value of the item is that I'm trading. And he just had stuff laying around. Didn't want to have to drop the money to buy the Lego set. So also includes a dandelion Game Boy Color. Everything is beautifully packaged. <laughs> so inside of here are the McDonald's Pokemon cards. So it looks like he got some of those packs. There's like 10 or, 10 or 11 of them. Why not, right? Nice little, nice little throw in. And then, oh yeah, I forgot about this. This was the best part. The Pikachu Game Boy SP. It's still got a charge. I love that beautiful sound. And it is AGS 101. Brighter screen, a little bit of scratches, but it does seem like it's the original shell, so that's pretty cool. I absolutely love that system. Great time to get it with how Pokemon is just going crazy in prices. So I actually have one in the collection already, so that one will be for sale. Sega 6-button controller. And it may just be controllers the rest of the way, if I'm remembering right. N64 controller. Everything is official. So there's a second and a third. And I love this. Everything is clean, bundled up, good to go. So we love stuff like this. PS1 controller. Good old GameCube. Mario Wii Remote. Really nice. And look at that. Forgot that was in there. N64 expansion pack. Those are uh, pretty darn high spiked right now in value. Like 50 bucks on those. And then a Smash Bros. GameCube controller. So that's it. Traded the epic Lego set. And the second one is not, I thought it was behind me, but we do have a second one and we're putting that out there for trade as well in case anybody's interested. So hit us up if you want that epic NES Lego set as well and might want to do a trade like this. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked and thanks again, Rob. So this guy that I'm trading with reached out with an absolutely crazy potential offer. They sent me pictures of their entire collection and I was like, whoa. And the highlight of that collection included a GameCube, 
with two controllers, a wave bird, and 49 games, 48 of which are complete. So I'm trading all of this. A brand new Fortnite Switch. Yes, it has the code unused. Layton's Mystery Journey is brand new. Pokemon Shield. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Civilization 6. And then Wolfenstein 2 sealed. Final Fantasy sealed. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate sealed. I think I was getting... I essentially valued this at $600 for the bundle. And then... I'm also throwing in $400 in cash. That's how good this GameCube bundle is. And you guys are going to get to see it here in a second. What's up, dude? How you doing? Good, how are you? All right. I got two crazy kids in the car. Hey, right nice. on. All right. That's amazing. Hi guys! Hi. What I got? What's up? Um, oh, nice. there's the, you guys want to be on YouTube? Uh, Wave! Okay, yep. <laughs> John, or whatever. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. So all the wiring. Right on, man. Yeah, it looks like so, everything's in great shape. Is this just all stuff you had from back when you were younger? Uh, no, nah, I probably, I guess I mo acquired most of the stuff about eight years ago. That's awesome. So I had, like I said, I had- Got pretty hardcore into it by the sounds of it. Super, uh, you know, super and stuff. Uh, just kind of started selling it all off throughout yeah. the years. I've, I've been holding on to this stuff. And yep. I know like these two fight over the switch, so I just kind of want to get another one. <laughs> That's awesome. That yeah, looks all, all good to me. There's your stuff there. Yeah, I'll keep the bin if that's cool. Um, but hey, that's brand new. Um, I don't know if you care about the code, but it hasn't been used or okay. anything. Um, and there's those. Most of them are new, one's not. But yeah, definitely let me know about the other stuff. I'll I'll buy it, trade more stuff, any, any of that kind of thing, if you're willing. And then yeah. I got 400 for you as well. Okay. But I know that takes time to go through and make sure you're comfortable with it all and all that. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Much Good appreciated. Yep. Take care, guys. Yeah, you too. Right. You too. Minty Fresh. Minty Fresh. You guys are going to see all that later, but that is a beautiful GameCube collection. That's amazing. Absolutely That nuts. might be the best GameCube collection you've ever gotten. It, it definitely might be. All right, so guys, this trade was absolutely epic. Uh, amazing collection. Shout out to Eric and his kids, Jackson and Griffin. Uh, they're, Jackson and Griffin are excited playing the Switch right now. He told me they're enjoying it. They got a Switch with the Fortnite bundle with seven games. I think like five or six of those games were sealed. So on my end, I traded about $1,000 worth of stuff, which is crazy to trade that for retro games, but if you guys have been around in this channel for a while, I think you'll understand why. So Eric went through, valued everything around $1,500 on eBay sold listings on GameCube. And GameCube stuff is just going crazy right now, so I was really excited to be able to get my hands on some GameCube uh, because it's crazy hot right now. And I love GameCube. It's like probably my favorite system of all time. So there's some gems in here, including Red on Top, Metal Gear Solid, Twin Snakes. I mean, just on down the list, everything is complete except for one. You got Buffy, Resident Evil, Code Veronica X, Beautiful Joe 1 and 2, uh, Pikmin, there's a bunch of Star Wars games, a Mario Kart, Tales of Symphonia, among other gems mixed in. There's Animal Crossing. Let's see if that one has the memory card. Okay, no memory card, but it does but have the We have, have one, though. We do? We do. Hey, all right. And then Simpsons hitting around. There's Harvest Moon. There's Monkey Ball 1 and 2. Great games if you haven't played them. Um, some Cabela's games. Nothing too great, but Metroid Prime 2. And then two Metroid Primes. 
absolutely nuts because there's another stack of amazing games here. So Digimon Rumble Arena 2, Pikmin 2, Mario Kart with the bonus disc. This is a pretty rare demo disc, version 19. Chibi Robo, crazy valuable right now. Uh, Ikaruga, Eternal Darkness, Pokemon Coliseum, another one. I believe this one actually was in Level Up Leads as well. So Pokemon XD and Coliseum are crazy, crazy spiked right now. Uh, Rally Championship, very rare. Not a lot of people know about that game. Killer7, Bait and Kaidos, and Mega Man X Collection. So GameCube, 49 games, three controllers, and I traded $600 worth of Switch stuff and 400 bucks cash for this stuff, and I am absolutely thrilled. Thank you guys for watching Chase After the Right Price. We truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe right here. Go ahead and do that. It would be awesome. And when you subscribe, hit that little bell so you can get the notifications because every Friday we put out a new video at 4 p.m. If you don't hit the bell, you won't get notified. So hit that and you'll get the notification. Also, guys, be sure to check us out on all social media. The links are below in the description. And have a great week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.